Hey there, welcome to another episode of Legends with a Roy. <laughs> now today, I'm excited to tell you another story about Billy Bob the Knight. Now this story starts as Billy Bob was taking a little nap. Billy Bob went to the front door and he opened it and there stood Stanley the Skunk and Porky. Now Porky was a porcupine, not a pig. A lot of people get confused with that. And Stanley said, Billy Bob, I need your help. Billy Bob said, okay, um, what do you need? He said, well, you see, there's a thief in the neighborhood Billy Bob said, a thief? What's he stealing? Stanley said, see, that's the thing. Now, my wife Sally likes to knit. She finds it very relaxing and fun. And, uh, you know, so that's fun for her. But anyways, she likes to knit. And she has this yarn. But see, the thing is, Billy Bob, the yarn has been disappearing. One day, it will be one little ball of yarn. The next day, it will be two. The next day, it's three. And now, we're plumb out of yarn. Billy Bob said, hmm. So it's someone who likes to knit. Porky, do you like to knit? Porky was like, uh, sometimes, but uh, I, yeah, I didn't do it. Billy Bob was like, hmm, are you sure? He said, yes. Stanley was kind of staring him down, like Billy Bob was, hmm. But anyways, Porky didn't do it. So, who did do it? Hmm. But then Billy Bob said, well, why don't we go to your house and we can see the scene of the crime? So they headed over and there they saw it. You see, when they went to look in the house, they saw some yarn. Now, they... Now, Stanley thought it had all been done, but there was one spool left. But it wasn't actually in like a little ball. It was a little trail of yarn that could be followed. So, Billy Bob said, hmm, so the yarn can be followed. Well, let's follow it. So, they started walking. Now, you see, the yarn was in one long piece, but every once in a while, it would stop and then they would have to look around and then they would find another long piece and so they did this for quite a long time until they came to an open area like a prairie or a savanna now when they came to it the yarn stopped and they looked all around but they couldn't find any more this time then they heard some growling What's that? And Billy Bob pulled out his sword and he looked around and there right in front of him was a flash. And then he looked over there and then over there until suddenly it stopped and there before him stood a cat. But not any cat. You see, it was a cheetah. A very, very fast cat. So fast. And Billy Bob said, Cheetah, what are you doing? And the cheetah said, My name's Carl. What are you doing on my property? Billy Bob said, Give me that yarn, or I, Billy Bob, will have to fight you. And Carl, the cat, said, B -b 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 Billy Bob? You're Billy Bob the Knight? That's awesome. Well, I'm sorry about this yarn business. <laughs> I've heard a lot of stories about you. You know, I know Frankie, the dwarf, and Georgie, such good guys. I, you know, I knew them when they were doing all that laughing and stuff, and you helped them out. And then Ollie the Otter, <laughs> he's a good guy. <sighs> well, I'm 
sorry about this yarn business. I didn't mean to cause anybody problems. <laughs> see, 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 I'm a cat. And being a cat, we have a deep desire for yarn. You see, we see it and we just think, oh, I wonder what we can do with that. And then it's a little ball, and then we hit it, and then it starts to unroll, you know, we, and we chase it, and then we hit it again, and then we hit it again. <laughs> and as you can see, we just keep doing that until we ran out of yarn. But I'm very sorry, was it your yarn? Billy Bob said, no, 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 it was Stanley's yarn. You see, this is my friend Stanley the Skunk, and this is my other friend Porky the Porky? Porky? And there was some high grass off in the corner. And Billy Bob heard some chattering. Yes, Billy Bob. Billy Bob said, get over here, Porky. <laughs> Porky, he's really excitable. But he's a good guy and very fierce in battle. Let me tell you, Porky was like, hey, yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna, we don't have to fight, do we, Billy? Like, we're all friends. Okay, good. <laughs> but I'm fierce. Pretty fierce. But Billy Bob said, Well, Carl, where's all the other yarn? You know, we followed quite a bit here, but there are still some colors that Stanley doesn't didn't see on the way. Where do you have you kept the other yarn? And Carl said, Well, you see, I put it in my house. So let's go over there. So they went over to Carl's house and they got all the rest of the yarn. <laughs> and then Carl said, you know, Billy Bob, I heard a story about you. You see, I've raced against Ricky the Rabbit. And I beat him, of course. But I heard that you beat him as well. Well, Billy Bob, it would be my honor if you would race me, Carl, the cat, the cheetah, the fat. Billy Bob said, yeah, well, I'll race you. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you ever raced that Tommy the Tortoise guy? Carl was like, yeah, I have. He's really, really not that fast, but he thought he won. So I don't really know how he thought that, but he did. Billy Bob said, well, I'm not surprised. Well, what do you want to race to? And Carl said, let's run into that tree. And I looked off. And there was a tree about a hundred yards away. And so Stanley said, under Mark, uh, get set, go. And so they were running. Billy Bob was running with all his might. And you know what? You won't believe this. Because you see, typically humans are far, far slower than cheetahs. But Billy Bob won. It was quite fantastic. And Carl said, Billy Bob Never has anybody beat me before. You must be the fastest thing on the planet. Billy Bob said, why well, thank you, Carl. I do like to run every now and then. And then he said, where's Porky? And Porky was like, someone started yelling go and I didn't know what was going on. And I thought maybe like we were gonna have to fight. And so I just hid over here but was even eating sandwiches. <laughs> Billy Bob said, wait a second, that was our food we took. Yeah, I ate it all. Hmm. But thankfully, Carl had some wonderful food that they all got to eat. So after that long, long day, they all went home. Billy Bob helped carry all the yarn he and Porky did in Stanley, and even Carl helped carry some too, back to the house. And Stanley was so pleased that he even gave Carl a nice ball of yarn. And Sally gave him a sweater. It was actually quite a nice looking sweater too. And I think Carl really liked it. But anyways, Billy Bob went home and he started taking a bath. A splash splash, I was taking a bath. All about a Saturday night. A rub a dub a just relax. wonder who that could be. But that, my friends, is another story for another day. Well, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Legends with Old Boy. <laughs>
Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.